Hey guys, in this video I'll go over lights for the Hornet. Let's go over internal lights first. You can turn on the flashlight by holding left alt on your keyboard and clicking L and you can move it around with your mouse. You can turn on your night vision by holding right shift and clicking H. It takes a couple seconds to turn on. Also, if your night vision doesn't turn on at all, you might not have it equipped. To equip your night vision, click backslash and go to ground crew, change helmet mounted device and select night vision. Once your night vision is installed, you can do right shift and H to turn it on. You can increase the gain with right control, right shift H and decrease it with right alt, right shift H. The panel for the internal lights is on the right side here. This is where almost all the internal lights are controlled. The console switch controls the backlights for the left and right consoles. The instrument switch controls the backlights for the instrument panel. The flood switch turns on the floodlights all around the cockpit. The warning switch adjusts the brightness for the warning lights and you can use this switch to test the warning lights. The chart switch turns on a light around near where your stick is. I'm assuming this is to make it easier to read your kneeboard. There's also this switch here. If you set it to day, the lights will be brighter. If you set it to night, they'll be dimmer. And if you set it to NVG, it will turn off your floodlights and it will turn on these green lights near the back here. You can adjust the brightness controls for your middle screen using the switches around it. The brightness switch up here, the day night switch, the symbology switch here, the gain switch here, and the contrast switch here. For the left and right screens, you have a day and night mode here, and you can adjust the brightness and contrast. The brightness for the heads-up display is right here, and for the upfront controller, the brightness is right here. The brightness for the HMD is right here, and for the RWR, it's right here. You can also control the brightness for the IFEI panel. Keep in mind, this only works in night mode or NVG mode. If you have it set to day mode, the brightness switch will not do anything. Those are all the internal lights. Let's go over the external lights now. First, you're going to need this switch, the exterior light switch. This turns on the pinky switch on your throttle. If you have the pinky switch backwards, all the exterior lights will be off, and forwards, all the exterior lights will be on. The exterior Exterior lights are here on the left side of the throttle. If you turn on the formation light switch, it will turn on these blue bars around your aircraft, which make it easier for other planes to formation fly with you. The position switch will turn on a white light on the tail and also green and red lights on the side of the plane. And there's one more that's kind of hard to see. I turned on my parking brake and I'm gonna move my throttles a tiny bit so you can see it. It's the strobe switch. You can have it to dim or bright and that will turn on a red light that will blink on the tail. The last external light switch is the taxi landing light here. If you turn this switch on, then it will turn on a light on your nose wheel, which makes it easier to see outside. Those were lights for the Hornet. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.